Here's the problem with AI presentation tools. Yes, they're great at creating slides for what I call low stakes presentations, but they fail at the most critical part of any business presentation, uncovering the insights that actually matter. Put simply, there's a gap between insight generation and insight presentation. These tools cannot tell you why your client should enter the US market, but they can present that insight compellingly once you have it. Luckily for all of us, there's an easy fix. So in this video, I'll show you exactly how to use ChatGPT and and Gamma to recreate a pitch deck I used as a salesperson at Google. Let's get started. As a quick overview, given our goal of creating a market entry presentation for a budget skincare brand, here's our three step process. First, use Google Gemini's or ChatGPT's deep research feature to identify opportunities and risks. Second, have AI transform our findings into a structured outline that tells a clear story using consulting frameworks. Third, drop that outline into Gamma for polished slides, then refine them using our own expertise. Diving right to step one, the research phase. Open up ChatGPT and select the latest reasoning model. These are the O models. I'm blurring the numbers here on purpose because the model versions change so quickly. Just select the newest reasoning model and toggle on deep research. Unlike normal prompts, deep research requires incredibly specific and comprehensive prompts. But don't worry, I'm gonna share this template in the description and just go over some highlights. Our objective is to create a market entry report for a budget skincare brand aimed at young adult males aged 25 to 35 across Japan, Indonesia, and the United Kingdom. My client back then was actually interested in these three markets. We asked ChatGPT to clarify any missing inputs, and for each market, we're gonna use Porter's Five Forces framework to analyze the competitive landscape. For the final deliverable, give us the executive summary first, followed by uh, supporting data points and deep dive analysis. Most importantly though, I wanna see a ranked market scorecard, aka which market should we prioritize? Remember, we're not here to just perform market research. We're here to give our client a recommendation. While ChatGPT is running, here's a pro tip. You can use this custom GPT, I'll link it down below, to generate extremely detailed, deep research prompts using just a one sentence description. Massive shout out to this Reddit user who created it. I've used it multiple times and it works really well. All right, ChatGPT ran for about seven minutes and the report looks great. Uh, there's a table here comparing all three markets with actual numbers and we have a deep dive analysis for each market. But as, as I mentioned earlier, I'm most interested in the ranked market scorecard at the bottom with Indonesia ranking first with a concise explanation as to why. Scrolling back up, we see the report gives us specific and actionable insights. For Indonesia, we wanna highlight compatibility with local needs formulated for tropical climates and oily skin, obtain a halal certification to increase trust, uh, for digital channels for Indonesia, we want to prioritize leading marketplaces like Shopee and Lazada. <laughs> Where was this when I was a salesperson? Okay, at this point, we have a detailed report, but we need a presentation, not a research paper. And that's where the next step comes in, turning these insights into a story. Step two, the structure phase. Back in the same chat thread, we're gonna deselect the deep research option and input this prompt, which again, I'll link down below to create a structured outline for our presentation. Here's a few highlights. I'm preparing a presentation for the CMO of a budget skincare company. Based on the market research I've already done, recommend the CMO expand into the Indonesia market because as we saw earlier, that's the best choice, right? And we wanna decrease decision fatigue for the CMO. Dedicate one slide to explain why the other two markets aren't suitable. At this point, it should be clear that step one gave us the facts and step two packages those facts into a compelling story that tricks, I mean, <laughs> convinces convinces the CMO to spend money with us. Looking at the output, there's really not much to say. It's ridiculous what we can do with AI nowadays. It follows the SEQA framework. Uh, each slide has three supporting bullet points slash insights. For a slide, bottom line up front, enter the Indonesia market because it offers the highest ROI. The market size is 9 billion. It's growing at 8% every year. And this is compared to Japan and UK growing at 4% and 2% respectively. The recommendations are tactical and relevant. For example, search volume for acne wash Priya is up 54% year on year. A quick search tells me that translates to men's acne wash. Very useful insight. And we also have a slide at the bottom here explaining why Japan and UK should be deprioritized. 
just like we asked. So at this point, we've transformed a dense research report into eight slides that tell a clear story. The customer should enter the Indonesia market, here's why and how. And we're gonna bring this all together in step three, the design phase. First, we click here to copy the outline from ChatGPT, head on over to Gamma. And after you set up an account, this will all work on the free plan, by the way, we're gonna click create new with AI here. And I'm gonna select paste in text we're gonna paste the outline, select presentation, default is completely fine, and we're gonna click continue. Now, don't let this page scare you, it's actually super simple. For text content, we wanna choose condense instead of generate, since we already have a strong outline. Max text per card, I actually want the detailed option, since I'd rather delete extra text than write from scratch. For images, I actually prefer the illustrations option, uh, over AI images. And you know what? Stock photos is still great to use. Not everything has to be an AI. And if you want complete control, you can always choose to add image placeholders. Let's just select illustrations for now. And for format, we leave this as is, and eight cards is totally fine. Under additional instructions, I'm just gonna type generated images must be related to the content of the slide. And now we can click continue and go on to the next page. For themes, so under themes, I want something a bit more professional. Um, and this one, maybe, uh, nope, let's go with actually this one, light blue uh, icebreaker. And by the way, if you wanna import your company's brand guidelines, there's an option to use custom themes as well. But we're just gonna stick with uh, icebreaker for now. All right, so that took about a minute and we now have a beautiful looking presentation, but this is only 80% there. We definitely still need to make edits. During my first run through, I always check for two things. One, does the presentation still run smoothly? And two, did we lose any critical information in the generation process? For example, on this first slide, I need to clarify it's the skincare market actually, and this should actually say domestic e-commerce. And we know this because ChatGPT made that clear in the original report. Next, one of my favorite Gamma features. This title is pretty bad, so I'm gonna click Edit with AI and ask Gamma to use an insights-led title. And after we wait a bit, we have Capturing Indonesia's 54% year-on-year growth, our three-step strategy. Okay, this is much better, amazing. And then we can click the check mark to accept. Next, the sentence at the bottom here feels a bit unnecessary. So I'm just gonna delete this and I'm gonna press delete again to remove the block completely. And now I want this slide to have more visuals. So I'm gonna select the entire row here, change the layout to something else. For example, let's see, uh, square images I think looks good. Now I can easily add images by clicking generate image. Uh, actually, you know what? I want stock photos from Unsplash actually. I'm gonna search for Indonesia, uh, select this one with the flag. And okay, check this out. I can change the focus point uh, of the image and drag the focus point over to the flag to make it more centered. This is super user-friendly. Second image, let's do Unsplash again. And I'm gonna search for online shopping, okay. And this looks cool. And for the third bullet point, uh, this is about the skincare routine, right? So let's search for um, skincare men, probably. And I'm gonna select this image. It looks kind of neat and clean. And I'm gonna change a focus point by dragging this down. Awesome, looks good. Moving on, this slide looks too fancy. The visual just takes up too much space for no good reason. So I'm gonna select this and I'm gonna change the layout to something more basic. I'm just gonna type uh, text to search for text. Let's see, text boxes, okay. Uh, we can't go more basic than that. Awesome. Okay, this looks better, but I want to add a few more icons. So what I'm gonna do is head on over to images here and then I'm gonna select icons, search for people, Okay, and then I'm gonna search for this one. Okay, so this is way too big. Let's decrease the size of this a little bit like so. Uh, great thing about Gamma is that we can easily just drag this around and not have to worry too much about formatting. Next, I'm just gonna press Command and Control C to copy this icon, then press Command and Control V to paste, drag this over to the second column, 
double click again and search for digital this time instead. Cool, let's do the credit card one. And rinse and repeat for the third column. I'm gonna drag this over like so and double click again. I'm gonna search for marketplace maybe. Nope, nothing there, uh, market. And let's just do, yep, shopping, shopping cart, sure, why not, looks good. Okay, so after reading through the content, I think the third bullet point on this slide needs improving. So I'm just gonna click the edit with AI uh, button again and instruct Gamma to replace the third card with a more relevant market insight. And we're gonna wait for this to load a bit and let's see. Okay, the content is much better, but it didn't follow the icon layout. So let's delete that. Uh, paste the icon over again and search for growth. Easy, all right, now it looks good. So far, we've only been making edits, but what if I wanted to add new slides? For example, I wanna compare the skincare market size across the three markets. I can actually go back to ChatGPT first, copy the numbers for the three regions, go back to Gamma and select add card with AI, and instruct it to create a slide comparing the absolute size of the skincare market for the three markets uh, in descending order and assert that Indonesia is the best market to enter and paste the numbers from the report and click generate. Okay, this is awesome. All the key numbers in a user-friendly table format. And even if Gamma got the numbers wrong, which it did not, it saved me so much time on formatting. Here's a few more cool features. I can easily replace images on slides by clicking remove accent image or remove it entirely. Uh, scrolling back up to the first slide, similar to Notion, I can actually use the forward slash command uh, to add elements like a button. And I can edit this to say access full report that points to the full report and let's just use a random link for now and center align this because I'm anal like that. And there we go. Looks good to go. Wrapping up step three, there's one thing I absolutely love and one thing the Gamma team needs to work on. When I enter presentation mode, I can enable the spotlight feature, which blurs everything on the slide until I click it. I absolutely love this. Every presentation tool needs this moving forward. For the not so great part, when I export this presentation into Google Slides, the formatting doesn't translate over like perfectly. For example, you can see there are some spacing issues here, right? And uh, I created this bar chart in Gamma, but it doesn't fit to the size of the slide, right? And if you're using the free version I upgraded, uh, you will see a gamma watermark on the bottom right. And the way to get rid of that is going to the slide menu, click edit theme, and you can remove the gamma watermark manually. At this point, there are three things I wanna leave you with. First, although I was initially skeptical, I have to admit AI presentation tools like gamma are incredible time savers. We just need to remember that gamma is the visualization layer and not an insights generator. Second, in the world of AI, we still need human judgment to determine what tool to use at what time. Deep research for insights, text models for structuring your story, gamma for making it look professional. It's all about matching the tool to the use case. Third, and this is my favorite insight from Professor Ethan Mollick at Wharton. I'm just gonna read it to you. The greatest value comes not from surrendering control entirely to AI or clinging to entirely human workflows, but from finding the right points of collaboration for each specific task. If you enjoyed this, you might wanna check out my AI playlist next. See you on the next video. In the meantime, have a great one.